everybody in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the bits and the bitwise operators as uh, we talked before uh, in uh, previous uh, tutorials we talked about variables in C which were characters and uh, uh, integers and double and flat as uh, numerical uh, variable but uh, in C, numerical variables has more uh, format, which are decimals containing uh, integer, float, double, and we have binary formats, uh, which are uh, bits uh, format, and uh, each bit has uh, either zero or one value and we have hexadecimal uh, format which are um, from uh, 0 to f and from 1, uh, uh, one zero to 1 f and from uh, 2 zero to 2 f and uh, so on and octal uh, format is uh, from 0, 0, 0 to 377 if we have eight bits uh, uh, eight bits operative six system but when I start a new project I use either 32 bits or 64 bits that I have used 64 bits for my projects and each bit has each uh, each uh, uh, eight bits are one byte which means that this program has eight bytes operative system means 64 bits operative system and in uh, this uh, table you are seeing that it is one byte which contains eight bits uh, numbers and uh, the binary uh, the binary or bitwise uh, binary uh, variables has also uh, arithmetic uh, operations but uh, they calls bitwise operators and we have a tilde, we have and, bitwise and, we have bitwise inclusive or, and we have bitwise exclusive or. What they, uh, what the, what those means? In bitwise and between two variables A and B, if a bit in A in zero and a bit in variable B is zero the result uh, the resulting is the A and B is zero in that bit if one bit in A is zero and one bit uh, one bit in B is one the resulting A and B is zero in that bit if one bit in A is zero and one bit b uh, one bit in b is zero the resulting a and b is zero in that bit if one bit in a is one one bit in b is one the resulting a and b in that bit is one also the resulting of a and b is one if and only if both bits are has a value one otherwise they are zero the example zero and one it is zero fourteen and one fourteen is one 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 zero and one is zero 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 one and the resulting is one zero is zero, one zero is zero, one zero is zero, one zero is 
zero and zero one is zero as well. The resulting is zero, the, the number. The bitwise operator inclusive or between A and B, the result if both if one bit in A is zero, one bit in B is zero, the resulting A or B is zero. If one bit in A is zero, one bit in B is one, or one bit in A is one, and one bit in B is zero, the resulting A or B is one. If both bits are one, the resulting of A and B is one. Also, the resulting bitwise uh, inclusive or operator between A and B is zero if and only if both bytes bits are zero. Otherwise, they are they have a value one. Also, zero or one, zero or one has a value one. Fourteen and one is one 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 zero, or a bit a bit was inclusive or two zero 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 one. It is one zero is one, one zero is one. 1, 0 is 1, and 0, 1 is 1, that the resulting is 1, 1, 1, 1, which is F, which is F in hexadecimal. Now, the exclusive or between A and B, it is 1 if and only if one of the bits has a value 1, 0 in B, in A, O and 1 in B, the resulting of exclusive OR is 1, 1 in A, 0 in B, the resulting of exclusive OR between A and B has a value 1, otherwise they are 0. If both bits are zero or both bits are one, the resulting of exclusive or between A and B is zero. Also, zero exclusive or one is one. One of them is one. F 14 exclusive or one, it is one, 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 zero, exclusive or two, zero, 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 one, it is one of them is zero, it is one. One of them is uh, uh, one, it's one. But the binary, uh, the bitwise exclusive operator between 14 and three, which is one, 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 zero, exclusive or two, zero, zero, one, one. So, one zero is one, one zero is one, one one is zero, zero one is one, and the resulting is one one zero one. The complement, the complement operator or tilde A, it is exchanging the bit from zero to 1 or from 1 to 0. The resulting, if A is 9, it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And A tilde, it is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. It is 9 and it is F6 in hexadecimal, which is uh, minus 
10 in, uh, in uh, decimal form. Okay, we are going to write a simple program int main void I uh, declare a variable i equal to 188 and I am going to print f with uh, format decimal uh, with format integer in format hexadecimal in format hexadecimal and in format of octal format and i i i and in binary format there is no direct uh, conversion in uh, uh, printf uh, that I can uh, directly write it needs a loop program that I am going to um, give an example when I, we are going to uh, when we learn uh, after we learning the loop uh, func uh, functions or operators in C and I am going to write uh, digits or uh, variables in uh, binary form okay I am going to uh, to add return zero because the int function has a format int and uh, uh, it needs a return value. Now I am going to run this. As you see, i in uh, integer format has 188. In hexadecimal format has bc and in octal is 274 as we had it in here 188 has this binary for, uh, uh, form and has bc as hexadecimal and 274 as octal now I am going to use uh, 9 and another variable j as a 6 and I am going to use uh, in hexadecimal i and J, I or J, and I exclusive or J, and tilde I. And uh, okay, I am going to run this all of them in hexadecimal as we suggested 9 is 1001 and 6 is 0110 as you see i and g 10 is 0 1 is 0 and the result is 0 and i or j one zero is one zero one is one zero one is one one zero is one so the resulting is one 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 which is f in hexadecimal and uh, exclusive or one zero is uh, one of them is if one of them is one 
the result is one if both of them are zero or both of them are, are one the resulting is zero but we see that one zero zero one zero one one zero the resulting is going to be one 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 which is f in hexadecimal and the tilde i the tilde i is changing 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so 1 is 0 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 to 0 which is 0 1 1 0 which is uh, uh, 6 and because we have a uh, 64 bits means 8 byte all those uh, uh, all those uh, bits before this nine are zero and they are going to be exchanged to one which are f f f seven f and the last one is six so it is a uh, it is correct and if you want you can see the result in uh, integer exchange x to d x to d and run and the resulting of i and j is 0 i or j is 15 or i exclusive or j is 15 and the resulting of tilde 9 is minus 10 okay now we are going to see another operation uh, operative uh, operators bitwise operators which is shift shift to the left or shift to the right and uh, shift to the left equal or shift to the right equal and we have also and equal and equal we have or equal we have uh, uh, exclusive or equal and we have uh, tilde equal also but the uh, tilde equal is do uh, it doesn't uh, work uh, uh, so much and uh, we are going to skip it but uh, those operators what that means we shift to the right or shift to the left I have an example here I hope okay the shift operator which is shift to the left or shift to the right and if C our variable has a value 9 in 32 bits um, uh, system it has 0 0 0 and 9 at the last byte which is 1 byte 2 byte 3 byte 4 byte and each byte has 8 bits which means 32 bits and the value 9 has such a as the that uh, uh, that binary format and when I shift it C with one bit it means that I be I I shift this one one bit this one follows one bit this one follows one, one bit and this one follows one bit that is this one is going to 
most one bit to the left and the last number is zero which is number 18 in uh, decimal form decimal format if I shift it with four uh, step it is one two three four then that one is appear here and the rest of them is zero which is 144 uh, decimal value and if I shift it with 31 uh, step this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. And thirty-one is the. That means that the whole these thing are going to be shifted out, and nothing is left. Everything is zero, and the number, the, the decimal number is zero. Now, when I shift it to the right. I shift that value one step to the right. This means that that the last number is up here, and this one, hold this one, shifted to the right one, and it is then, and the last number, the last bit, get the number zero. If I shift it with two steps, with two those two disappears and that one is going there and two zeros at the last bits. If I shift it with four, one, two, three, four, it's going to be disappear and the four last bits get the number zero and the value is zero. The shift, shift to the left equal one. It means that C is equal C shifted one step to the uh, left. And this is the same value here. And the new value of C is 18. Now, then I shift the new value of C three steps to the right three steps one two three this value appear here and the last three bits are going to get the number zero and the digital value is two now we are going to use in our program i am going to use it here i have uh, taken the value nine and j six and I have shifted nine with one to the left or with five step to the left because I have uh, written I have chosen a 64 bits uh, program I have shifted with 61 bits to the left and then I have shifted I with one, uh, one bits to the right or two bits to the right or four bits to the right and I am running the program and as uh, we had it's 18 and 144 and 0 or 4 or 2 or 0. It is 18, 144 and it is 0 and this one is 4 and this one is 2 and this one is 0. Now I am going to use uh, J shifted to the left equal one and I shifted to the right with 
two equal two and I am going to print print a we suggested 6 1 to the right is going to be 1 1 0 0 which is 12 as integer as the decimal value and when I uh, shift 9 be 2 step to the right it's going one two and it is zero one and zero zero which is two the digit the decimal number is two okay this was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial